والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon his final prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today we're going to be looking at charity and generosity in this month of Ramadan. Because one of the qualities of the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was his, it was charitable and extremely generous. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, said about the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the most generous of people. Anas ibn Malik, he said about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the best of people, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the bravest of people, and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the most generous of people. And even when the message came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and Allah ta'ala revealed the Qur'an to him, and he feared upon himself, is this from Allah or somebody else? One of the things that his wife Khadija, may Allah be pleased with him, said to him was, Wallahi, she swore by Allah, Allah will never humiliate you. For you do not break, break or severe the ties of kinship. You help the weak and you assist. So one of the qualities of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was he was charitable in all ways. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was extremely generous. And with all these qualities of generosity of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Ibn Abbas, he said, but the most generous the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was, was in the month of Ramadan. So this month of Ramadan is a month of showing generosity. And why should we not show our generosity in this month of Ramadan? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been so generous to us and revealed the Qur'an in this month of Ramadan. Why should we not show our generosity in this month of Ramadan? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been so generous to us and is made in this month of Ramadan a night which is equal to a thousand months. Why should we not show our generosity in this month of Ramadan? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this month of Ramadan has opened the gates of paradise, closed the gates of the hellfire, and chained up the devils. Why should we not show our generosity in this month of Ramadan when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has told us in a hadith that whoever makes Umrah, the lesser pilgrimage in this month of Ramadan, is equal to making Hajj pilgrimage with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at all these generosities Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has shown to us. So why should we not show our generosity in this month of Ramadan? And there's different ways of becoming generous in this month of Ramadan. One of the ways to show our generosity in this month of Ramadan is to feed the poor and the orphans. Not to forget these people in the month of Ramadan. Because with hunger which we go through temporarily and the thirst which you go through, there's people in the world today, they're going through this on a permanent basis, on a daily basis. So we should show our generosity by feeding. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by doing so in this month of Ramadan, will raise our position. To the position of those who Allah Ta'ala says about where you not ta'am, they feed food to the miskeen, to the orphans. And when they feed this food, they say to these people, We do not want from you. Thanks or praise. We're doing this for the sake of seeking the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this month of Ramadan is a month to show generosity in feeding people. And it's not a condition that these people should be poor or impoverished. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whoever breaks the fast of a fasting person will receive the reward of the fasting person without the reward of the fasting person being diminished. So it's a month to show generosity to our brothers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by inviting them around for iftar to break our fast with them. And there's many other ways to show generosity in this month of Ramadan, many ways. And in the next episode, inshaAllah ta'ala, we'll be talking about ways to show generosity in the month of Ramadan. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this month of Ramadan he accepts our generosity. And in so doing so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us with his generosity. Until next episode, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.